Last week, we told you about a sensor that will be placed in the helmets of soldiers headed into Afghanistan. Another kind of sensor will also soon be sent to Iraq to help gather data on how blasts and other incidents affect service members. At only a couple ounces, you'll hardly notice this device is there. The um, internal mounted sensor, as you'll see, it uh, actually goes underneath the crown pad of the advanced combat helmet, so that's uh, where it's actually getting its protection. But something so tiny is expected to bring a lot of insight into what happens to troops in combat. The number of IEDs that, are, that we're seeing in Iraq um, and the traumatic brain injury that's coming out of it, uh, obviously somewhere down the line we're looking at um, you know, correlating the blast and the injury, right? Um, but in the near term, we're looking at uh, developing a, a, a uh, more protective piece of equipment. The Army will be trying out the internally mounted sensor in Iraq when 4th Infantry Division soldiers head there later this year. Another kind of sensor that's externally mounted is going to Afghanistan as early as the spring. So how exactly does the information get passed on? The sensor comes with a USB cable. Uh, at the end of 30 days, uh, the squad will come in. Uh, each soldier will uh, open the back of their helmet. There is a communications flap here. Open the back of the helmet. Uh, simply plug this in, and this will go into the USB port of the computer. Uh, once this is done, they press save data. Um, after a few seconds, it's saved, um, collected all the data, and then the helmet sensor is prepared for another 30 days. The information uh, downloaded will be sent to a secure database uh, at the Anti-Armor Task Force, uh, where it's going to be used for future uh, uh, data analysis. The Army's program executive office soldier managed the research, design, and fielding of the sensors. Uh, conducted uh, testing at Aberdeen Proving Ground. We also conducted uh, several human factors tests uh, and environmental tests on, on these. The externally mounted sensor has a battery life of about six months, while the internal sensor runs on a rechargeable battery. The, uh, the battery is in sleep mode. It's, it's not pulsing all the time. It's in sleep mode, um, and when an event occurs, it turns on, captures the event, uh, puts it in memory, and turns itself back off. About 3,700 sensors will get to Iraq by the fall, while about 1,200 soldiers will take them to Afghanistan. Petty Officer Andrew Holloway, Pentagon Channel News.